Well, conflict divides nations. Perhaps art can bring them together. In a touring exhibition taking Australian art to Asia, 10 of Australia's best contemporary artists will showcase their work in South Korea, Taiwan and Indonesia with the aim of exchanging ideas and building relationships. Kesha West met some of them. Kiron Robinson is a lecturer at the Victorian College of Art. Well, that's his day job. He's also a prolific artist. His installations have exhibited as far afield as Dublin and Japan. The viewer sort of puts their head uh, within the hole and inside it's uh, like a Gansfeld effect. Um, so there's no sort of horizon line, there's no sort of shadows, no sort of detail which the eye can focus on. Simon Finn has a similar day job, a lecturer in animation and games design. But his real passion is producing works of art like this one that combines simulation technology with drawing. It's a representation of the Mars camera that's been dismantled from the actual rover as if it's, um, it's, it's, it's ended its lifespan and it's, and it's slowly sinking underwater. The pair is part of a group of 10 Australian contemporary artists preparing to take their works on a tour of Asia as part of an exhibition called Vertigo. There's painting, drawing, video, sculpture, um, there's collage and uh, yeah, it's just such a broad mix of different media. Claire Watson is the curator. The exhibition explores the volatility and uncertainty of contemporary life. It's a collaboration between Melbourne art space Blindside and AsiaLink Arts. I think Australian artists are really brilliant and, and up there really at a high level amongst their peers in the international context. But more work needs to be done to really give them the opportunities that they actually deserve. AsiaLink's touring exhibitions, Claire says, are providing at least some artists with that chance. Well, I guess as an artist, the most important thing is that you work seen. I mean, you, you don't want to work in a vacuum. So I guess you know, sp spreading ideas and, 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 and um, different content to, to Asia is a, an amazing opportunity to, I guess, get more exposure for, for your work. Tanya Smith is a performance artist who makes, by her own admission, slightly absurd comic vignettes. They're short comic uh, videos where um, a woman, which is me in the videos, is breaking out of her everyday existence. The artist is keen to find out how her work will be received by audiences in Asia. One thing that I really wanted to do in these works was show the character that's the sort of lovable rogue, the slapstick. I'm looking forward for the works to go into other cultures to see if that really translates and to see if people um, connect with that in that way. Kiron Robinson, who grew up in Bangladesh and has also lived in the Philippines, says there are many similarities between Asian and Australian art, but also very distinct differences. Obviously, uh, Asian artists are tapping into the whatever uh, Asian culture they're um, situated in uh, and bring those to the fore and, and uh, Western artists are obviously tapping into the Western culture. But isn't anything from this world? Mm. Alice Warmold's so artwork fits more neatly into a frame. I'm primarily a painter but my paintings are based on collages that I've made. Um, I collect images from books and magazines and cut them out and reassemble them into kind of weird landscapes. Vertigo opens this month in Indonesia. Then the art will make its way onto Taiwan and Korea, where it'll be showing in prestigious galleries like Taipei's Museum of Contemporary Art. I think Australia is quite isolated, and so it's difficult to kind of get your work out of Australia. So it's fantastic in that way. Well, I guess. For Simon Finn, the exhibition is more like showing your work in your own backyard. I'm trying not to think of it as Australia and Asia. We are part of Asia, so I guess it's, it's, it's integrating the, the work that's made here in Asia and working within our, with our local community.